Welcome to Color It Live. This is where we talk about all things Color It and where we showcase how you guys free your creativity every day. And we have lots of variety today that we're going to be seeing. And again, my name is Nyla. This is Jeremiah. We're going to be hosting for tonight. So um, if there's anybody new, uh, please let us know so that we can welcome you to the Color It family. I want to hear from all you colorettes and color studs. Where are you tuning in from tonight? We are here in Missouri and um, like I posted before, summer has definitely arrived. So we're getting nice and warm. We were in the 80s today. So I think summer is finally coming for us. And my mom told me to bring shorts to school, but I didn't, and I ended up getting really hot. Yeah, so. I told him to wear shorts. He didn't listen. He got hot. So, listen to your mother, kids. All right, so first, let's talk about what you guys can win tonight. It is the 48 glitter pins that I, you guys know how much I love. So, it comes in this case. All kinds of colors, all kinds of sparkle, all kinds of glitter, all the time. You guys are going to love this. Another thing that I keep forgetting to mention is not only do you get this case with the 48 gel pens, but you get this. You get 48 refill, refills. So that's like having 96 gel pens. It's awesome. They're easy to fill. All of the uh, refills are marked with the number and name of the colors. So this is an awesome prize. And all you have to do to win this prize tonight is to share, share, share. I know you guys probably get tired of hearing it, but it's how we get our name out there. We want more and more people to fall in love with Color It. So make sure that your profile is set to public so that Color It can see that you have shared it to your timeline. You can share it to your family, your friends. You can share it to different groups that you're in. You can even send invitations on Messenger. Really, we can just get the word out there and we can make this show even more fun because the more people that tune in, the more fun it is. So, but anyway, that's what we're winning tonight is the 48 glitter uh, gel pens, which you guys are going to love. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and let's look at how you guys freed your creativity in the submissions. Now remember, every 15 minutes or so, we are going to announce a winner. So, and the very last one is gonna be announced almost at the very end. So that means you guys gotta stay tuned till the very end. Do we have a question? Yeah. Cindy said, are we still on the year to wait to win? Yes. Um, Yes, when it is a Color It Live, you do have to wait a year, which gives, you know, other people a chance to win. Um, so, yeah, you have to wait a year between times that you can win. So, if you just recently won, unfortunately, it, it, it feels like forever. I know, because I used to be the one that used to share and I used to want to win and, um, you know, but you do have to wait just to give everyone a chance. So anyway, let's get to your submissions and let's look and see how you guys freed your creativity with the um, Freebie Friday giveaway. All right, so Freebie Friday submissions. Remember that if you want Freebie Friday sent to you, you have to go to colorit.com and sign up for the newsletter. Then every Friday you will receive a free coloring page that you can print out. How awesome is that? It's free. If you don't have a printer at home, I know that there's public libraries that have apps that you can use and you can print them at your public library for like 10 cents. So let's get in to last week's, which was a mandala. It's from the book Mandalas Volume 2. And the first one that we see today is from Lisa Popovich. And Lisa, I love how you chose a fire theme. That is exactly the theme that I chose as well. Some people did um, water themes, we, we, lots of variety. But anyway, Lisa, you did a fire theme. 
I love how the reds and oranges go so well with that bright yellow background. And I like the different darknesses, the different shades of the reds and the oranges and the yellows. It gives off a very warm feeling. So excellent job. Let's everybody show some love for Lisa's Fire Mandala. Lots of hearts and thumbs up. Next we have Marion Carter. And Marion chose to mix up the colors here. Started with some red and yellow, then went to a beautiful blue. I don't know quite what color that is. Um, I don't know if that's like an aqua or a teal, but I love it and I love it against that yellow. Very good. And then the borders, you changed up the cold color mix again and you used that another pretty bright blue with almost an amethyst color. So um, very colorful, very cheerful mandala. Great job, Marion. Next we have Pam Boyk. And this is a, um, a rainbow mandala, is what I'm going to call it, because all of those bright colors, they really pop against that dark navy blue there around the middle. And I like the colors you chose for your borders as well. Those, that green, the light blue, and the pink goes really well with everything that you did there in the center. So it's a very fun picture. I can tell that you uh, enjoyed coloring this, Pam. Thank you for sharing. You guys will notice I'm going to try to talk less about everyone's um, submissions because I want to get a little bit more time coloring. Okay, next we have Peggy Wolf. And um, this is a rainbow, another rainbow mandala. But when I saw this, I wrote down tie-dye because that's what it reminds me of. It has like a tie-dye effect. It is gorgeous. I love how your colors start in the middle and then kind of flow out. Um, they're not all necessarily mixed together. They each have their own area as they go out. Um, and I don't know if you guys, um, I, I was in um, school for aesthetics and one of the things you learn in aesthetics is makeup. And part of doing makeup and things, you learn about the color spectrum, right? And one way that we remembered how the color spectrum was is we used um, an anagram of some sort. I think it's called an anagram, but I, it, we used Roy G. Biv, which stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And when I saw Peggy's um, submission for tonight, it made me think of that because that is almost the exact pattern that she has used here. As you see, starting from the outsides of the flames, you got your red, your orange, your yellow, and then you got the green. So I don't know if Peggy, you intentionally did that, but that is what it made me think of. So very groovy tie-dyed mandala. Thank you, Peggy. Lots of hearts going out to everyone tonight because you guys did such a great job. Next, we have Sherman Solomon, and these are more calmer, more cool colors. Um, we got the different blues with the yellows and the oranges and the reds. I'm not for sure, but this looks like um, you used colored pencils. Um, and if that's correct, Sherman, Sherwin, let me, let, let me know in the comments if you used pencils. And the reason why I say that is because it has a softer look to it. And that's what um, we can do with um, colored pencils is, you know, we can go bold if we want to, but we can also keep that soft look, which is what Sherman has done here. So very soothing mandala. Um, I love the color choices and the way that you blended it. So great job, Sherwin. Okay, random submissions. So once again, if you have a picture that you want um, on Color It Live or on their Facebook page or on one of their social media pages, all you have to do is you can either post it on the Facebook page, or you can email it to support at colorit.com. So these are the random submissions. Let's see how you guys freed your creativity with these. All right, so first we have Diana uh, Mansabo, 
I'm going to take a guess at that last name. I'm sorry, Diana, but I love your picture. Very bright and cheerful. It is perfect for summer. I would have loved a lemonade earlier today. It would have quenched my thirst. And that's exactly what I think of when I see this picture. It's very refreshing. I like how you did the picture in an orange look, but then the liquid itself makes it lighter. So I love that. And then surrounding the, the, the picture is your beautiful sunflowers that you did. Um, you got your yellows and your greens and you got your little bit of um, brick red or orange in there. Looks really pretty against that blue background that you did. And I like your red and white checkered um, tablecloth too. So very refreshing picture. Um, this is from Colorful Seasons and you definitely um, did that. You definitely showed us lots of color with this picture, Diana. Thank you for sharing. Lots of hearts, everybody. Make sure you're sharing so you can be entered into the contest. Okay, next we have Linda Hensley. And this is Mandala Seed Color Volume 1. And this is a pretty, really pretty mandala with the different greens and blues. The further out you go, you can see that you added some yellows. And I like that touch. I love the black in the center. It really draw, draws your eye directly to the center, kind of giving it a um, depth to the picture like the outsides are closer and the insides are further away i love the color palette that you chose and the pattern that you chose to do that color pattern in so excellent job linda we'll show you some hearts some love okay next we have melody barker and this is from blissful scenes and it's definitely a blissful scene we have a beautiful flower stand here with a variety of flowers and with that a variety of colors the first thing I noticed was that really pretty blue pitcher right there kind of on the off center and I think those are yellow daffodils but I could be wrong um, they could be snapdragons I'm not for sure but they definitely go really pretty with that blue um, picture that they're in all right just heard from color it we got our first winner so let's come back to me and jeremiah hi everybody all right so the winner of the 48 gl glitter pins with the 48 refills that jeremiah's got our first winner for tonight is sarah jane hatcher Sarah Jane Hatzer, congratulations. You're going to love these glitter pens. And then you're going to have 48 refills, which is really nice because you're going to go through them quick. So congratulations to Sarah. Make sure that you send an email to support at colorit.com. Let them know that you are a winner from Color It Live. And in that email, please put your phone number and um, address so they can get that sent out to you. And I can't wait to see how glittery and sparkly your pictures are. So these will definitely help you for your creativity. So, all right, so congratulations, Sarah. And back to our submissions. We were looking at Melody's beautiful, blissful flower stand here. I was complimenting that dark blue vase with the daffodils or the dragon, I can't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um beautifully done here melody i love the baskets and all the different colors that you used in the baskets and the pots are all nicely shaded and it's just a beautiful blissful scene which is what the book you know is all about and you did a good job representing that so thank you for sharing let's everybody show melody some love for her blissful scene all right, next we have Sherelle Stevenson, and this is from Colorful Dragons. I call this picture the mother of dragons. And Cheryl, you have did an outstanding job here. You have a very red, regal, majestic dragon here. And the mother of dragons is sitting there right on top. Um, her beautiful blues and her dress and in her armor goes really well with that red against it and the first thing i noticed when i saw this picture was the jewel 
on the dragon's head. I mean, it just looks like the light is hitting it and it's just sending out all kinds of shine. I mean, the way you did that is, is excellent. I'm not very good at that, but the way you did it, really good. All your highlights are good, but you definitely, that catches your eye. When you look at this picture, that's the, one of the first things you see. So excellent job on your, um, your mother of dragon and her majestic uh, dragon that she's riding. So lots of hearts for Sherelle. Okay, next we have Sher Sherry Blakemore, and this is from Colorful Seasons. And we have a VW bus here, looking groovy. It's all packed up for the beach. I like the green and blue against the orange and the pinks. Your surf surfboard looks ready to ride the waves. It's got that bright yellow and the dark blue. So that's really cool. And um, just all in all, uh, definitely a fun picture to look at. You did a great job, Sherry. Um, it looks like this VW bus or van is ready to have a very fun trip. So thank you for sharing. Looks excellent. Lots of hearts for your van here. So groovy. Okay, Color It Weekly Theme Challenge, monochrome. All right, first let me tell you about the Color It Weekly Theme Challenge and how you can enter. What you gotta do is you go on Facebook and you're gonna search for a group that is called Color It Coloring Books. And you're gonna join this group. And when you join, you are gonna become part of a awesome coloring group. These people are the best. Um, they have ways of inspiring you. If you have questions, they always have an answer. They're always encouraging. They practically become your other family. So when you join, you will be able to enter the challenges. And Nicole Williams is the one who does these challenges. And each challenge every week, it's, it's different. So this week it's monochrome. Some weeks it's sunset. Sometimes it's Easter, depending on the different holidays. Nicole always switches it up, keeps it nice and fresh. So what you do is you will find a picture in the color it books that matches the theme. You'll enter it and then Nicole will assign a number. And then at the end of the challenge, she will draw numbers. And those are the ones that we get to see here on Color It Live. So let's look at the winners of the weekly theme challenge with the um, theme monochrome. Okay, first we have Anita Scott. And when I first look at this, this is from Wild Doodles, and that's exactly what it reminds me of. It looks like vines just all over the place. Um, love that all the doodles are done in different shades of green. And then she put in um, some yellow in there to help make that stand out even more. And then if you look closely, you'll see some blues and some light purples, but they don't, it doesn't take away from the greens and the yellows, but definitely adds to the whole picture. Looks like vines all over the place. So definitely a wild uh, trip to the jungle. So thank you, Anita, for taking us on that trip. Excellent job. Okay, next we have Barbara Kirkpatrick, and this is from Blissful Scenes. And she has done shells, which is a very good choice for a monochrome palette. All of those soft pinks and peaches and yellows all go beautifully together. Very soft, very pastel looking. Um, we know sh shells usually are a softer shade. There are some bright ones, but most of the time they are the pastel look. And Barbara, you've done an excellent job here of uh, showing that. Um, if this was a collection of shells, the person who owned the shells would be very proud of this collection. Very beautiful. Even the, the ones with the pearls in it. So definitely a blissful scene. So excellent job, Barbara. Make sure everybody is sharing and giving hearts and thumbs up for all of this variety that we're seeing. 
Okay, next we have Cindy Roth. And she has chosen my favorite color palette for her mandala, which is from Mandala's Volume 2. We've got purples, we got lavenders, blue violets, royal purples. I think pretty much almost all purples are represented here. And the way that you have chose to do a pattern is beautiful. I love that you left some white and black in there so that the purples stand out a little bit more. So as always, excellent job, Cindy. Let's show her some hearts for her beautiful purple mandala. All right, next we have Doreen Babb, and this is from Traveling Doodles. And she has chosen to do her mandalas in browns. Now, the first thing I thought of when I saw this was, of course, you guys know me, I thought of chocolates. So I thought of all the different kinds of chocolate. You got your dark chocolate, you got your milk chocolate, you got your white chocolate. So all represented here in Doreen's picture. Also, if you wanted to, you could think of it kind of as all the different coffee browns. You know, you got your dark coffee, then if you put in a little bit of cream, you have the lighter color, and then you put a lot of cream, which is the way I like it, it gets even lighter. So, excellent job here, Doreen, with the monochrome um, theme challenge. This is an excellent example of what monochrome is. So, you know, now we can go enjoy a cup of coffee or maybe some chocolate or maybe both. So lots of hearts for Doreen and her chocolate mandala doodle here. Do we have a question? Um, Dana says, Doreen, it looks like pennies. Pennies, yes. It's got maybe some copper brown in there. So excellent, um, excellent eye there. Okay, next we have Miracle, Miracle, sorry, I'm talking too fast, I need to slow down. Miracle Dunkelberger, and this is from Mandala's to Color Volume 1. And Miracle has done her mandala with cool colors. Um, I don't know if anybody knows too much about colors, but you have the warm side of the color wheel and you have the the cool side of the color wheel and that's the colors that uh, Miracle has chosen here. She's got the teals and aquas with that blue violet and that light lavender and it looks good with what looks like I think is maybe some gray. So it's a very cool, very calming mandala. Um, excellent job. Definitely fits that monochrome theme which also happens to be um, what we're supposed to be doing for um, fan of the month. So, all right, good job, Miracle. Next one. Okay, we have Nicole Williams, and this is from Colorful Dragons, and she has done her dragons in greens. We see that around the eyes, she's got a real dark, deep green, and then she goes outward to lighter greens. We got even some kind of neon greens. Looks like she used some um, glitter pins in there, makes the scales on the dragon look nice and shiny. So a very majestic, very beautiful, soothing green dragon. When I think of dragons, usually the first color I think of is green. And this is an excellent, beautiful dragon that you have colored here, Nicole. Thank you for sharing. Let's show Nicole some love as well. All right, next we have Pam Lind Lindley, and this is from the 10 free pages. And uh, you have used purple palettes here as well, so definitely love that. I see some amethyst, I see some royals, purple, some blue violets, um, all kinds of purple there. Makes me think of um, raindrops in one way um, another way when you look at it kind of looks like a flower and then one of them kind of looks like an eye but that's my imagination getting away with me but either way Pam you did a lovely job here with your purple monochrome challenge theme so excellent job very soothing to the eye all right who do we have next we have Robin Northrup and this is from Calming Doodles. And she chose to use the cool side of the color wheel. We got pinks, 
purples, blues, and I even see, I believe, some light greens. So it kind of reminds me of all these different color jewels. Um, just, it's really pretty. I mean, your eye kind of goes everywhere with it, but it's, it's just pretty. You got that pink and that kind of amethyst color and the blues. And then I really like how you, you, you know, did the pattern that has all the different colors in it. It's so pretty and definitely a calming doodle. So good job, Robin. And I heard my, so, my phone. So I believe we have our second winner. So let's get back to us here. Hey guys. So our second winner for tonight, remember, you guys are winning the 48 gel pen, glitter gel pens. Gotta emphasize the glitter part. So you get the 48 gel pens and you get the 48 refills. So our second winner for tonight is, okay, I'm gonna hopefully pronounce this correctly. We got Jan Raymondi. So congratulations, Jay Renmondi. Um, you have just won our second prize for tonight, which is the 48 glitter gel pens. So make sure that you send an uh, email to support at colorit.com. Let them know that you won on Color It Live and make sure you include your address and your phone number. So congratulations. Loving all the winners and all of the variety we have tonight. So let's get back to Robin's picture. Again, it's from Calming Doodles and you definitely um, made it so that it is a very calming picture, Robin's. It's very beautiful. Kind of would be cool to have on like a t-shirt or something or, you know, hanging on the wall. So excellent job, Robin. Okay, next we have Sandy Waskow, and this is from Traveling Doodles. And uh, Sandy decided to go the opposite of the color wheel. She decided to go with the warm side. And so she's got all kinds of yellow tones here, which makes it look bright and warm, kind of like the sun. So all different colors of yellows. Um, some of them kind of have a little bit of an orange tint. So that is beautiful okay so um all right so sandy excellent job on your um, monochrome traveling doodle here i love um the warmness and the brightness okay we have one more and then i have a um special shout out to give tonight but let's get one more of the, the pictures here. And this is um, Suzanne Steiner, and this is Colorful Flowers. And Suzanne has chosen to do monochrome with the colors of blue. So we have a variety of blues here, from light turquoise to um, darker teals, to kind of like a, a denim blue, maybe even some, a midnight blue. Um, to me, when I look at this, it makes me think of all the colors of the ocean kind of swirled together. So um, I can see why you um, was able to get your monochrome challenge theme here. You were right on point, Suzanne. So congratulations. All right, so I wanna come back to me and Jeremiah because I wanna have a special shout out and the shout out is Adam Hale sent us a message and he said, my daughter, Anne Marie, would like a shout out. She won't be able to watch next week due to a school week long camping trip. Well, Anne Marie, we are going to miss you next week, but I'm going to let you know that slide because you're going camping. How fun is that to go camping? And I bet it's going to be so fun a whole week camping. Do you think you'll roast marshmallows? Maybe make some s'mores? We've done that before. So I hope you enjoy your camping trip and we will miss you next week. But remember, you know, you can always catch our videos on YouTube or on Facebook. 
they always post those after the show. So um, shout out to Anne Marie um, and thank you um, to her father, Adam, for letting us know that. So that's awesome. I hope you enjoy your camping trip. So, all right. So now that we have done with all the submissions, we are going to have a special um, guest caller and we're going to talk to her. And I have a feeling you're all going to know know this caller. So let's get her on the phone. All right, so we're calling. Hello. Hello, this is Nyla from Color It. Who are we talking to tonight? Nicole. Nicole. Everybody knows Nicole. If you don't know Nicole, you need to join the group and you will you will know her after that. So how are you doing tonight, Nicole? I'm fine. I'm baking cakes. I'm going to make a uh, two-year graduation cake right now. All right. Baking cakes. Sounds good. Any certain flavors or? Um, the cake itself is a butter, golden butter recipe. And um, the cake is a little bit buttercream. Sounds. And the, uh, the outer Sounds yummy. So, um, let me know, uh, Nicole, what state do you tune in from? Um, I'm from Tennessee. Tennessee. That's, that's a new one. We haven't had that. That's cool. And um, I'm really interested to know when and how did you find Color It and their products? That is really cool. To keep the group from being, you know, stalemated during the um, challenges. And because it was a fan based group, I asked Clover if we could submit um, entries from the group challenges. And they allowed me to um, submit the uh, pictures. Well, that is really cool. Right. Well, that's really neat because I've always, I've always, always wondered. So you started from the very beginning back in 2015, and we have you and 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 Cheryl and um, I forget the other one. Was it August? Uh, that started. No, Angela. Angela. Sorry, I had the A right. Yeah. So well, that's that's really neat. That's that's uh, cool. Uh huh. Right. So, um, um, what is your favorite medium to color with? It's a tie between pencils and gel pens. Reason why, um, like even up the pastels and the watercolors and the alcohol markers and stuff, I think that with pencils you can achieve a, a cleaner look. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the markers might go outside the lines and the tip might be too big, or you know, it might saturate the paper too much. Um, with just various types of markers, not to say it's colored, but just any type of markers. And with pens, you have a more controlled um, flow. Right. You don't know how, how much to use. I don't think about the pens, you just got to make sure you know your hands are not more than you don't smear. But yeah. I really love pencils and pens. 
Yeah, I've learned that the hard way. I've smeared quite a few pictures. But yeah, I, I agree. The pens and the pencils definitely let you do those details that are in the pictures. So um, what is your favorite color in book? Right. But I think uh, coloring has really put the imagination into their grade. And so that is why I can't stop coloring. Yeah, so they, um, they like won that. you over and you now like dragons. That's great. So we have um, your picture up right now. Um, this is your favorite picture. Can you tell us why this is your favorite? Right. Yeah, landmarks aren't the easiest. So you did your research and it came out beautiful. It's an excellent picture. I can see why it's your favorite. So one last question. Um, do you have any other hobbies besides coloring? Well, that's, yeah, that's excellent. Well, first, I want to thank you, and I'm sure everybody in the group would love to thank you for all your hard work that you put into the weekly challenges. Um, you always have it posted, always have it ready, and I know that you're a busy woman, so we just really appreciate all the work that you do for the, the group. All right, well, you in, um, enjoy baking the rest of your yummy cakes, and thank you for being our guest on Color It Live tonight. All right, it was nice to be on, even though I can't see the uh, video out. I'm talking to my, on my phone. And she, so. Talking and baking. Very talented woman. <laughs> All right, well, it was nice to be on and um, nice job, everybody. I love all the positions that we posted in the group. Everybody has such uh, dramatic um, pictures you saw, and I'd like to everybody, you know, participate in the challenges or whatever color bonds we do. So keep it up and nice job. So we're going to keep you busy, aren't we? Oh, yeah, I got to work on some more uh, challenges. So I've been trying to do them out. First, I used to do them every week, but now I try to do them out another time because I know people work. Yeah. And they do all the time. They take hours to do those things. So I've started uh, making out a long list. Yeah, it is helpful having, you know, kind of knowing what's coming up because sometimes it does take a while. So, all right, well, you have a good evening and thank you very much. Okay, good night, everyone. Good night. All right, so that was Nicole. Some interesting facts there that I didn't know, and so I'm glad that we were able to call and find out that about Nicole, that she was one of the first three that created the groups. So that was really interesting, and she had an excellent picture there. Um, I'm not for sure what that place is. I should have asked her, but um, just a gorgeous picture, and love all of the hard work that she puts into the group. So, okay, we are going to do some coloring. And the book that we're going to be coloring from tonight is Colorful Expressions. 
and it's the picture of the queen. Now, if you do not have this picture, um, all you got to do, let me get the information here. Um, if you haven't signed up for Freebie Fridays, make sure you do that. But at, for right now, if you want to go to the URL, colorit.com slash Y-A and three S's and then the word queen and all that's together. So colorit.com slash Y-A-S-S-S queen and you can download that and color it. So let's go ahead and see the page that we're gonna color. We got a queen here setting really regal and before Jeremiah starts with the um, questions, I'm gonna tell you kind of what I've started so far. Um, I started going ahead to color her skin and the first pencil that I use when I um, do a lighter flesh tone is the Caramel Tan, which is um, C05, sorry, C005. So that, I always lay down a soft um, base with that. And it's just really easy, just nice, soft circles. You don't want to press too hard because we are going to be adding other colors so just nice and soft circles this will be your base color or this is the base color that I choose for it so we'll just color her arms okay and then I'm gonna tell you what the other two colors I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna let Jeremiah take over with the uh, the questions now for the um, shadows and um, Sometimes I will even outline the, the person um, just to kind of have more of a 3D effect. So for the shadows, I'm going to be using Natural Brown, which is um, C034. So again, it's Natural Brown, C034, and this is what I'll be doing, the darker shadows. Now, as far as um, like her lips and blush and different things like that, I'm going to be using Hello Pink, which is C013. So you're going to see me going back and forth, um, putting a little pink down, putting a little brown, going back over it with the um, Caramel Tan. So be going back and forth quite a bit with those. So um, Jeremiah, you can go ahead and start asking uh, the trivia questions while we wait for our, oh, we've got our third winner. Ooh, that was quick. Sorry, guys. I'm slacking tonight. Ooh. All right, so our third winner of the 48 glitter pins with the refills. Oh, okay, so technically, you know, you get the 48. 48 equals 96, so this is a great thing to win. And our third winner is Gretchen Brown. So congratulations, Gretchen Brown. You have just won the very glittery, very sparkly glitter gel pen set. You're going to love it. You are going to fall. If you have never used these, these are some of the best gel pens that I have ever used. So make sure you send an email to uh, support at color .com. Give them your name and address and let them know that you won the 48 glitter pins on Color It Live. So congratulations. So let's get to coloring and let's do some movie trivia. What are the names of the two mice from the rescuers down under? Okay, so I don't know if anybody has ever seen The Rescue is Down Under. It's a movie that I watched when I was little, so it's been around for quite some time. But there are two mice, and they're the ones that save the day. Does anybody know the names of those two mice that go and they rescue the girl? She's down in the bayou, in the, in, I think in Florida. With some alligators I believe or maybe it was Australia I can't quite remember but anyway does anybody know who those two brave mice were 
that helps rescue the girl. So I'm doing the blush on the queen. Do we have an answer? Yeah. Okay. Wait, Tara says Bianca and Bernard. And Bernard. All right, that was Tara? Yeah. Tara is correct. It was Bianca and Bernard. Very unlikely duo who came and they signed up for the trip and they rescued the little girl. So good job, Tara. What is our next movie question? This one is pretty hard. Okay, we got a tough one coming. Which 90s animated film was Disney's first ever DVD? Okay, so the very first DVD that Disney put out was in what 1990 no, or 90s. 90s was in the 90s which is pretty much 1990s so the 1990s what is the first movie that got put on DVD do we have choices Jeremiah Toy Story Toy Story so move on or Hercules okay so was the first movie on DV Mulan Hercules or Toy Story. I gotta tell you guys, I got this one wrong. So, does anybody know? Does anyone take at least take a guess? All right, so it was the 1990s. I think I said it too late because I think I said the um, um, other answer too late. So we got Toy Story. Hercules or Mulan. Does anybody think they want to try a guess? Jeremiah's. Jonathan said Mulan. Jonathan is correct. It was Mulan. And everyone else is saying Toy Story. That is exactly the one I chose. I I thought it. I thought for sure if it was gonna be any movie, it would be Toy Story. But I was wrong, and Jonathan was correct. It was Mulan. She was the first one to be put on DVD. So good job, Jonathan. All right, you guys can see I'm putting in some shadows here. And then afterward, I'll blend it. I just, you know, I everyone puts shadows in different places. I usually put them anywhere there's clothing, anything that's going to cast a shadow. Okay, so what is our next trivia question? Give me one second. Okay. Mulan is one of two Disney princesses that are left-handed. Who is the other one? Okay, so we're talking about Mulan again. And she is one of two Disney princesses that is left-handed. Which, that is a detail I have never even thought to pay attention to. So there's some fans out there who definitely pay attention to the small things. So do we have choices for that? It's kind of a hard... Ariel, okay. Cinderella, or Tiana. Okay, so either Ariel, Cinderella, or Tiana. Or Tiana. So the first one, of course, was Mulan. Who would be the other one? Does anybody know? This is kind of a tough one, too. Is it Ariel? Is it Cinderella? Or is it Tiana? We know that Ariel, of course, is from The Little Mermaid. Cinderella is from her own movie, Cinderella. And Tiana is from Princess and the Frog. So who wants to take a guess? Do we have an answer? Eddie said Tiana, which is correct. All right. Eddie said Tiana from Princess and the Frog. Tiana and Mulan are the two left-handed princesses. And, I, you know, I don't know when this trivia question was written. Um, so they might have added another one. Who knows? So, but good job, Eddie. You are correct. Okay. So do we have any more questions? What is the name of the Hobbit 
played by a Elijah. Elijah. Eli Elijah Wood. Okay. In the Lord of the Rings movie. Okay, so the Lord of the Rings, Elijah played a hobbit. Does anybody know what his character's name was? Elijah Wood, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit. And it looks like my iPad is starting to get low on juice. All right, looks like Cindy knows the answer. Frodo Baggins. Correct. That's exactly what Cindy said. Frodo Baggins. All right. I think we have one last question. We're going to, I know we're about to wrap up. But what's our last question for tonight, Jeremiah? This one, me and my mom watched at least five months ago, and we liked it. <laughs> which, in which 1984 science fiction movie did Lena, Lena Hamilton, no. Linda, Linda Hamilton play the role of Sarah? Sarah Connor. Okay, so we watched this on TV, so it was edited. Um, just wanted to kind of put that out there. Um, 1984 science fiction movie starring Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor. Does anybody know the name of that movie? Definitely was a hit back then. Everybody was quoting it, saying, I'll be back. Oh, we got an answer. Cindy said Terminator. Cindy said Terminator. Correct. And the first one uh, was the Terminator, which is the one in 1984. I was sorry. I was quoting Terminator 2. He didn't say that in the first movie. So, But anyway, Cindy knew what she was talking about, and it's called the Terminator. Now, before we switch back, I wanted to show you guys um, when I draw or color people, you know, this is basically what I do is I layer, you know, usually about three colors. And to help me do that, I have my, I use my journal and I, I write these down. And so you'll see I have the caramel tan, the hello pink, and I have that these are for the fair skin. This is the base. These are for the highlights, cheeks and lips. And then it gets darker because I always like to have um, variety. So, but anyway, it was kind of fun coloring the queen here. So let's do some announcements and let's wrap up tonight. So first of all, I want to thank Nicole for being our guest. I want to thank everybody for joining in on um, our trivia questions. I know that we always have fun asking them or coming up with them. And we like to see who can get them first. So... Um, let's just do a few announcements here. Um, so we still have that one more winner for the, the 48 glitter pens. So stay tuned to the very end. Okay, so fan of the month. Um, you can uh, upload your drawing to colorit.com slash contest. And you can use any Colorit page from any book but it needs to be done in a monochrome color scheme. And if you want examples of that, just rewind this show. And Nicole did a weekly theme challenge that happened to, to go right along with the monthly, the fan of the month. So that if you want an example, you want to look at those challenges. And you're going to upload your picture. You can't send it. You can't email it. You have to go to colorit.com slash contest and upload it onto there. And uh, everybody gets one entry. There'll be six winners, three of which will be picked by Color It staff themselves, and the other three will be chose randomly. And you will win a gift certificate to Color It. So that's awesome. Another way that you can win is the monthly giveaway. And the monthly giveaway, you'll, you just saw it, is this right here. It's the Tangle Doodles Journal. It's got bullet print in it so that it's easy to draw things. Um, it's even got a, which I love, a belongs to page in the front. So if you want to win this, 
go to colorit.com slash giveaway. That's all you got to do. Go to colorit.com slash giveaway and enter there. Um, there's different ways, different things that you can do to increase your chances of winning. And when uh, you do win, it'll be announced on uh, social media. And we have our fourth winner for tonight. So again, we're giving away this excellent set of 48 glitter pins. Lots of sparkle, lots of shine. Makes excellent for all of your pictures. It's going to bring all kinds of variety. And it comes with the 48 glitter refills. So... The fourth and final winner for tonight is Dana Kanarik. So Dana Kanarik, congratulations. You are our fourth and final winner for tonight of the Glitter Gel Pen. So congratulations. All you got to do is send a email to support at colorit.com. Tell them that you are a winner on Color It Live and give them your address and phone number and they can ship those pins out to you as soon as possible and you're gonna love it one last thing make sure you watch your email for your freebie freebie Fridays I always get mixed up on that my tongue gets tied freebie Friday um, every week you're gonna get to get a new one and that's what we will color on the next color it live so also, make sure that you're following Color It on all the different social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram. They have their own YouTube channel with tutorials. Um, our videos get posted on there, so if you miss it, you can go to YouTube and see us. Um, and I also believe they're on Twitter as well. So, thanks again for um, Nicole being our guest. And thanks for everybody else for tuning in, for sharing, and for answering the trivia questions. As always, it was fun. We had a good time. We hope that you guys also had a good time. So enjoy your evening. Have a great week. And make sure that every day you find a chance to free your creativity. So thanks a lot, guys. Good night. <laughs>